Alright guys, what is up? And today I'm bringing you guys a pretty badass gameplay, if I must say so myself. Now, this gameplay right here, let me get the class loadout and what I'm playing out of the way. I am using the Scorpion Evo with Fast Mag and Laser Sight with the Diamond Camo, because that's sexy like that. I got the Bouncing Betty and I believe the Stun Grenade. And my secondary is the Three Burst Pistol, the BR-23, blah, 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 whatever the hell it's called. BR-23, I think it is. Or B23R. I'm not sure actually. I always get that confused. But anyways, this right here is a multi-team on hijacked. And if you guys don't know, I rock multi-team. It is my shit. Alright, pardon my French. But anyways, flag jacket scavenger attack match. You guys see the kill streaks. And for this gameplay being such a high scoring gameplay, I only have one lethal kill streak. I'm using two non-lethal kill streaks and I'm just using the load star. So that is pretty crazy if you ask me. And uh, let's get into this. So throughout this gameplay that uh, game play game pay what am i trying to say here gameplay i actually go on a 45 gun streak now that's pretty crazy if you guys ask me um that is my five hi uh, highest gun streak today man i can't talk today i'm not sure why uh, i was just having this problem like 10 minutes ago too so that a 45 gun streak is pretty hard for me in this game that is a nuclear and uh once you get past the nuclear, I think it's like every other, I think it's every kill, there's one, it's called unstoppable, and that's even higher than the nuclear, that's the highest one. There's nothing higher than the unstoppable. Um, all it is is that uh, it's like unstoppable, and then it'll just give you the X number of kills you get after the nuclear medal. So, I went on a 45 gun streak this game, and I went on a 77 kill streak in this game. Now, that is pretty insane if you ask me. Um, kill streak is different than a gun streak. Kill streak includes my load star kills, and uh, yeah. So, I start off this game with a death, and it kind of sucks because I would have had a 77 KD, but I do go 77 and 2, which does kind of suck. But I do have another game where I go, I think it's uh, 69 and 1, which is another great game that you guys are going to be seeing soon, which is my highest KD uh, game so far in uh, Black Ops 2. But anyways, like I was saying, um, yeah, this gameplay is probably the best gameplay you guys might ever see from me in this game. Now, I know it's not um, compared to some people, you know, they're getting these crazy 100 plus with no deaths, so there's that guy with the 200 kill game, but what I want to let you guys know is those guys aren't consistent. Now, I made a commentary about this a long time ago saying that these guys that get these high scoring gameplays, they don't do good every game, and generally, they're not the best players. I know people are going to be like, what the hell are you talking about, man? They get these high scoring gameplays and, you know, these crazy games. Yes, that is true, but uh, the fact that I killed that guy right there, sorry for interrupting, just proves how bad some people are. I don't know how I didn't die there. But, like I was saying, um, those guys aren't consistent. They get good games every once in a while, and they gameplay farm. So, for me to get a good game like this, uh, I play the same way every game, so sometimes I just get odd games like this where I do good. So, what I wanted to talk about today is, um, well, how, do I, how should I touch up on this, I guess you could say in a way. Um, we're now two months into Black Ops 2. I think it's two months in. And I kind of want to give my thoughts and opinions on the game again, because I did this, I think it was the second week this game came out, and I said I was going to make another video um, about what I thought about it in the future. I think two months is a good time to get, uh, I guess, give my another opinion into this game, because I feel like I'm pretty comfortable in this game, and I think since I'm Master Prestige and I have about eight and a half days played, I know what I'm talking about from now on. Um, it, my opinion might change again in this game, or it might stay the same. I have a feeling once you hit this time frame, uh, your thoughts and opinions don't change a whole lot, but I could be wrong. Alright, so, pretty much what I have to say about this game is that it's a pretty great game. Now, if you guys know me, I think every Call of Duty is actually really good. There's not a single Call of Duty that I dislike. Now, the reason I kind of wanted to talk about this is that me and my friends were in a party the other day, and we were talking about which COD, uh, somehow I think I brought it up, if they like this game better, or MW3, and the reason I'm comparing it to that is just because it's the most recent Call of Duty, and I was just kind of wondering. It's kind of weird to compare uh, this game to like older games, just because there's so much difference in between the two, but I felt like this game's a good game to compare to Modern Warfare 3. So I will tell you which one I do like better overall. Um, I think it's still uh, too early to say which one of those two I prefer better, but I think they're both really close for uh, me enjoying them wise. I did like MW3 a lot when a lot of people didn't. I know a lot of people really disliked MW3. I actually really enjoyed that game. Um, now, compared this Black Ops to Black Ops 1, I definitely like the original Black Ops better. That is my favorite Call of Duty to date. I absolutely love the original Black Ops. I just... Something about that game, uh, I'm not sure entirely what it is, but I just love the original Black Ops so much. Um, 
My favorite, probably favorite video game ever made uh, is the original Black Ops. I'm not sure why, I just love that game so much. But, let's talk about Black Ops 2 and what I, I guess, technically think about it. I said it is a good game. I say it's a pretty good game. Um, on the rating scale, I'm not sure if I can give it a rating right this minute, but I'd have to think about it. Some things that um, I do enjoy about this game for sure are the weapon variety. I don't think a game's hit the proper weapon variety um, in a while, at least. Uh, I don't think... I I'm not sure. Um, I think this game may have the best weapon variety out of any of the Call of Duties that I've played. And also, I also enjoy... Um, how could I say this? How people don't really use the OP guns, because there isn't really an OP gun. Um, so, you know, in, you know, MW3, everyone liked the MP7, ACR, and PP90. Well, you know, that's pretty much all you saw. This game, you know, yes, you do see a lot of PDW. Yes, you do see a lot of, you know, MSMC. But the variety difference between this game and past Call of Duty titles is a big difference. Because I feel like people use a larger weapon variety and don't turn to just one gun in particular to, um, you know, just to use just... You know, as an example, the FAMAS in the original Black Ops, everyone and their mother was using a FAMAS at one point. And it just seems that uh, this gun, this game has a better uh, weapon variety, that's for sure. Um, so, you guys can see I'm actually on my unstoppable streak right now, and I've been on it for a while. Um, I, I think I got my nuclear about maybe four or five kills ago, I'm not sure. But, anyways, yeah, don't, don't just listen to my voice, this game plays pretty beast, sorry for interrupting. I just had to say that, uh, this game plays really good. Uh, I'm not trying to brag or anything, but uh, this was probably one of my best gameplays that you'll ever see. So, another thing that I really like about this game as well is I really like the killstreak variety. Um, the fact that I don't really use lethals all the time in this game. Uh, MW3, I pretty much always use extremely high streaks. My lowest streak was usually the AGM or Reaper or sometimes the Predator Missile, but I'd always use really high streaks in the past Call of Duty. Same thing with the original Black Ops. I'd mostly just use the Blackbird Chopper Dogs. But I see myself having a whole lot of fun using the UAV um, counter UAV VSAT or UAV counter UAV um, EMP or just non-lethal kill streaks in this game are really fun to use. I really love the gun on gun action in this game. I think it's uh, really nailed it. I don't. I think this game has the best gun on gun action um, for the most part. Now, one thing that kind of makes the game uh, kind of crappy when it comes to that is that I'm not a huge fan of the maps, and that's kind of an important thing to me. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like the maps and how they play is a really important thing. I kind of feel like it's not the best. Um, I'm not sure why. I'm just not a huge fan of the maps in this game. Um, I like the MW3 maps better, that's for sure. Um, I, I, I guess we have DLC coming out soon. There's not. I can't. Even, I was right now just trying to think of a map that I really do enjoy, and I can't really think of one at the moment. I'd have to say my favorite map is probably Slums. I'd have to say. Um, as well, you know, some things that I think this game needs to get fixed is, you know, I thought I'd just check up on this at the end. I think this game needs to get fixed with the connection. I do think there is a major connection problem. Not as bad as when this game first came out. Another thing I think they need to fix is um, the spawning system. I think the spawning system is pretty bad, too. Even worse than MW3, unfortunately. And, you know, I don't really like making videos like I complain. I don't really think this is complaining, but those are just things I think they need to check or uh, touch up on in a certain way. And another thing that I think they need to touch up on kind of as well is um, the way they pick the host because they seem to give hosts to people who like dashboard nonstop, and I'm not sure why. I think the probation thing needs to be a bit better. Although I don't really find that as a complaint because the other Call of Duties ha did nothing about it whatsoever. At least this game's making an attempt. But other than that, I do think this is one of the funnest Call of Duties to date. I'm having a lot of fun with it and I thought I'd just share my two cents on it. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Can I please get a like and a favorite for this beast gameplay? Have a nice day, guys. Peace. UAV inbound.